Hello and are they going to be? And today I will be showing you how to plant watermelon. So that you can have a backyard full of beautiful watermelon and watermelon plant. So let's get started. Step number one is choose a sunny location. Watermelons need a lot of sun to grow, so you need a nice, sunny, and bright location. Step number two is to clear your area that you have chosen of any large weeds or debris. Step number three is to make a mound or several, depending on the size of your area and how many watermelons you want. It is recommended that you plant two watermelon plants for every one person in your family that wants watermelon. Now a mound is fairly easy to make. You just put some dirt in a pile and you pack it together until you have a nicely formed hill that is flat on top. But the one thing you have to remember is you have to pack it together very well because the number one pitfall is a loosely packed mound. And what happens when a mound is newly packed is that the first time rain comes or the first time you water your seeds, well, you're going to pour the water on there and your seeds are going to go flying to who knows where because your mound is basically going to dissolve. As you can see here, the mound is just, it's just, it's just falling apart. How to fix this is simple. Just add more dirt and pack it together really, really hard. You can use your shovel, you can use a trowel, or you can get your gardening gloves on and use your hands. Just pack that mound together really good so it doesn't fall apart. It's a little bit of work and you might be a little tired after you do like 10 mounds like me, but it's definitely worth it. And as you can see, after all that packing, we have a very nice, well-formed, hard mound that is a perfect home for your seeds. You want your mound to be about 12 inches across, rough measurement. I don't measure my mound, you don't really need to. But I'd say as a general rule, 13 to 12 inches at the base, and maybe 6 to 7 to even 5 inches tall. And as you can see here, when we add water, the mound does not crumble at all, but takes the water very well. Now on to step number four, which is plant. Yes, we are finally ready to put those seeds in the ground. Now you don't want to put your holes really close to the side, just in case they might go over the side and that, that would be bad. You want to get an equal distance between the edge of the flat top and the middle of the flat top, okay? So you gotta poke in, make it in a hole. Quick tip. Twist the stick if you want a nice round hole. I know this from experience. Twist it or else the dirt sticks to the stick and it's not good. I usually do about four seeds per mound. You can do more. I once had one that had five coincidentally and it was fine. But I think a general rule four to a mound is good. Now you just want to drop in your seeds. Bullseye. Close enough. Uh, pretty close. Bullseye. Boom. Like, like. Waterman and planting basketball or something. I like using a stick so I don't have to hurt my finger trying to shove it into dirt. Kind of hurts, you know. Dirt can be hard. You packed it really hard, so it's going to be hard. Use a stick. There you go. Now you want to cover them all up and bada bing, bada boom. Your mound is planted. Now we're on to step number five, which is wait for germination because this isn't the end. It's just the beginning. Now on to stuff you need to know. First thing is, is know that you can replant if the first seeds don't come up. You can always put more seeds into the mound if, you, if you're looking around and you're like, these should be up by now, but they're nowhere to be seen. Don't worry about it. Just put more seeds in the mound. It's always good to look at the back of your seed pack because they will tell you things like planting depth, usually a half an inch. Eyeball it, that's what I do. And how long it would take for your seedlings to pop out of the ground. So if you reach that date and your knife does not in here, make sure to just replant. Second thing you should know is know your seedlings so you don't think it's a weed. When your seedling pops up out of ground, weeds are gonna pop up too because that is life. This is what a normal watermelon seedling looks like. I planted Moon and Stars, Jubilee, and Crinlum Sweet Watermelon, and they all basically look like this. So if you see something like this, don't pull it out of the ground, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, and it leads you to grow beautiful watermelon. Watermelon are a great plant, and I'm so happy I could help you on your journey 
took one when you're all. Now it's time to say goodbye. Bye bye. Ba ba bye. Ba 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 bye bye. Ba 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 bye bye. Goodbye. Always remember to be happy. I'm buzzing away. Woo. Let's go with Ozzy Queen the Bee and learn some gardening. Plants, flowers, it doesn't matter. We'll get better. It's only the beginning now. So let's sow our seeds and pluck the weeds and let the sun do the rest.